Thank you, Carol. Um, where are we up to? 18, uh, infrastructure and transport. Not legislation of point strips? Yeah. Yep. No, item 18. Yeah. Yeah. Legalise, I was obviously legislation, legalisation of point strips. Um, where did this go? Well, Itty. this came to the uh, ITI committee and yeah. it never amazes me as part of this incredible job we have that how much we learn every day. And so I learned about point strips, I think the committee did too. If you think of a triangle between a, a developer, a landowner and the council, the point strip's actually a mechanism to ensure that the developer receives uh, a contribution to the cost of the construction of the roads and the development. And it's only a very, very narrow piece of land that actually prevents the landowner from accessing their land until they've met the terms of the agreement. And, um, and then when that um, point is reached, then the, um, the landowner um, requests that the council release that land, which it has been holding in trust, um, to the um, landowner. Now currently that's been subject to a uh, full staff report and it comes to the council for sign-off and this is just requesting that we give that delegation to the chief executive. The committee uh, agreed that that seems sensible and it will save costs and time. It didn't seem to be any risk to anybody because it's a legal agreement. So I'm happy to move. Oh, did you move it, Aaron? Three times. Oh, one, still two, I think. <laughs> I'll second it. Right. Aaron's yeah. moved it. Pauline yeah. seconded it. I'll put the motion. All those in favour say aye. Aye. Right. Those opposed say no. That's carried.